Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B-plus RV specialist. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. And we'll put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it's going to take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed as that web page is no longer live. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, give us a call in our office at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2001 Chinook. Alrighty folks, it's time for the inside portion of today's video tour. We are inside this 2001 Chinook Destiny. It has 72,964 miles on a Chevy 3500 chassis. It is powered by a 7.4 liter V8 engine. As always, we're gonna start at the front then make our way towards the rear of the coach. We're then gonna come back towards the front to try to get you a few different angles, as well as a feel for the overall condition and floor plan. This front two seats are flex steel and they are leather. Um, they do show a little bit of age here on the seat bottoms. I believe the passenger's one here that I'll swing around and show you in a second might be a little worse than the driver's side, uh, but just a little bit of small cracking in that leather there. We are a small family owned and operated dealership. My father started this business back in 1976. Myself and my brother Luke have taken over the day-to-day -day operations. So if you stop in here, you're more than likely gonna meet me or Luke. We're happy to show you the ropes, give you a tour, let you spend as much time as you'd like in it, this one or any one of our RVs. And again, like I said, this one is a little worse than the driver's seat there. Uh, you can see just a little bit of wear and tear from somebody sitting that as well as sliding in and out of there. Seat backs, good shape. Seat bottom does show a little bit of wear. Uh, Flex Steel makes a little bit higher quality RV furniture. Uh, so those front seats are actual real leather and they are uh, pretty comfortable as well. So for a lot of you, um, you tend to ask us questions. Uh, can we install more seat belts or how many seat belts are in this one? If you want a lot of seat belts, this might be the unit for you. Uh, we have four seat belts here in the dinette three on the sofa and then your two front captain's chairs which gives you a total of nine seat belts in a 23 foot motorhome uh, don't often see that so if you want something that's short easy to travel you can take the kids with you to a ball game uh, tailgating spending a day at the park uh, if you get kids in sports things like that you got nine seat belts and drive this to the game Park in the parking lot, have air conditioned between games if they're in baseball tournaments, stuff like that. Uh, this might be the one for you. Uh, Chinook is a very high quality RV manufacturer. Uh, they are no longer in business. Uh, they did use a lot of higher quality materials, more uh, oak, things of that nature, as well as the exterior fiberglass shell is a nice thick uh, one piece. There's no seams. That's kind of what they were known for. It's a one piece exterior fiberglass shell. Uh, similar to making a boat, as I often say, uh, they either make a boat and turn it upside down to make this Chinook, or uh, if you're more of a fan of the Chinooks, you may say they make a Chinook and turn it upside down to be a boat. This jackknife sofa here, uh, that is power. The switch for that is right there. I will run the beds down here towards the end of the video and give you a better view of that. This is kind of a split kitchen. We have half the kitchen here on the driver's side. We do have a double basin kitchen sink here. They have these covers on top, which allow you to use this area for counter space when you don't need the sink. Since this is tight quarters, uh, it gives you more counter room there when you need it. Storage up top, storage down bottom. Actually, going to back up here and show you these cabinets up here. That one there, we've got all your books and manuals. A lot of storage overhead here. We have a divider in the middle. These two run together, and then the front two run together. Same on this side, lots of storage overhead. The dinette goes down into a bed which is gonna sleep two people. And then the sofa also goes down into a bed which is gonna sleep two people. We have a three burner cooktop here. A couple spots on this. I'm not sure exactly if that was a chemical or a heat burn, these two spots there, but that is uh, discolored a little there. Again, three burner cooktop. Microwave oven is directly below that. These countertops are Corian, so that is a solid surface Corian countertop. Sorry for the gimbal there in the lower corner. Uh, this here is kind of a command center. 
if we hold this monitor switch here, it's gonna light up all these gauges. Tell you roughly how much is in each one of your tanks as well as your battery. Um, these are just meant to be a guide. They are not the Bible. They're not 100% accurate, but it gives you a rough idea of where you're at. So that one turns that on. There's your water pump switch, hood fan, or hood light and hood fan. Nice big uh, fridge freezer. This is a three-way, so it's gonna operate on propane gas. 12 volt electricity, which is your coach battery or 110 volt electricity, which is going to be either your shore power cord or if you're running your generator. Again, you can see a nice spacious fridge freezer combination there. Uh, nice size for a 23 foot motorhome. This is a rear entry model. So you're gonna come in the back of this as you can see the door there. Kind of have a wardrobe or storage area here on the uh, passenger side. Open these up here. This one's intended to be more of a pantry as you can see there with the drawers. Uh, we also have some more drawers below that. This one here in this corner is going to be a nice, nice large corner wardrobe. Got the rod up top so you can hang your clothes. And then a very large closet. Uh, very tall, so if you're just hanging shirts, uh, you could hang a dress in here if you wanted to. But if you're just hanging shirts and jeans, uh, you could definitely build some sort of a modular um, shelving system at the bottom. So you can use that, utilize that storage more. Again, rear entry. Got the mag light on the wall, fire extinguisher. Up here we have a noxious gas detector. Remote start for our Onan 20, excuse me, Onan 4K generator. These class Bs, if you want to call them that, have a 4K usually. 262 hours on the clock on that. Uh, some switches here for outside lights, inside lights, uh, as well as your step switch. The rear step is power, so you can uh, turn that off if you don't want it to go in and out every time you get in and out of this unit. There is a vent inside here with a fan. You can open that up, turn the fan on to exhaust your uh, noxious fumes when you're doing a number two. Or if you're taking a shower in here, you can also use that to pull some of the hot air or steam out. Uh, medicine cabinet on the wall here. Hello. It also has a mirror on the front there, as you can see. This is a wet bath. A wet bath combines your shower, your toilet, your bathroom sink all into one space. Uh, they have to do that in these smaller motorhomes because of the footprint to utilize the space uh, for a 23 foot motorhome. This is a very, very large um, wet bath. Lots of space in here, more than it looks maybe here in the camera. We actually got a bench here where you can sit when you're taking your shower. Also got the stool, uh, nice shower pan there. This guy is so you can rinse the toilet out after you get done doing your business. Bathroom sink, your this valve here. Uh, gives you your sink water as well as uh, diverts up to your shower head but a very nice wide i'm 6'3 uh 225 on a good day i have plenty of room to spin around in here uh, plenty of room wide width wise uh 6 3 i can feel my hair kind of brushing the screen in that vent overhead and I just remembered, I actually told you a small fib. I forgot I took my shoes off to film this video. It's a little snowy outside, um, so I don't want to track water and snow in here. So without my shoes on, I'm about 6'2". Uh, my shoes give me a little bit of height advantage. So I'm about 6'2", so that clearance in your shower there is going to be more about 6'2". Um, in the uh, portion of the coach here, as you can see, the ceiling is one height here, and then it kind of steps up. This here, again, my head, my hair is brushing this. So this is roughly 6'2". Uh, my hair kind of brushes the lights. I have to duck slightly for the AC. Then there's another light in front of that. Uh, but other than the AC, this does step up a little bit taller. Uh, if you're 6'2", you can walk through this unit pretty comfortably uh, without too many issues. What do you get from a pampered cow? Spoiled milk. Uh, we did do a little bit of work to this one. It did spend some time in our shop. Uh, this one does have the... Uh, signature Coca-Cola bottle opener that these uh, Chinooks put in from the factory. Uh, some people have pulled them out over the years, but uh, that is one of the signature things that they put in here. Anyways, this did spend a little bit of time in our shop. Uh, these Chinooks, you know, this thing's a 2001. The carpet was a little dated, a little uh, faded, stuff like that. Um, the couch actually came out very easily, and we had to do a little bit of work to the dinette. So we figured while we had to work on the dinette, uh, we just decided to pull the couch out as well and refloor this thing. Uh, the substrate below was just fine. There was no issues with that. Just the carpet was uh, dated, faded, uh, things of that nature. So we chose to install vinyl um, from the back entry door 
in the coach portion of this RV. Um, vinyl is much, uh, seems to be much more desired because it's much easier to keep clean. So we did vinyl all the way up to the front here. Uh, we figured while we was doing that, we might as well uh, change all the flooring in here. So we also pulled the front seats and recarpeted the cabin up there as well. So in this unit, you have uh, brand new flooring from front to rear. Again, there was no issues with the substrate, the flooring below it. Uh, we just chose to do that because of fading uh, dated. Wanted to make this coach as nice as we could. Uh, as If you follow our channel, you see that we get quite a few of these Chinooks. Uh, we do try to do a, a pretty thorough reconditioning on these. Um, they're a very solid, well-built unit. Uh, so we just try to kind of bring them back to life a little bit with, with what we can do uh, fairly easily. Again, we've got the three seat belts there and the four seat belts on the dinette over here. The bed, the jackknife again is power. Um, this is going to, you're gonna drop the table, rearrange the cushions. I'm gonna continue to the front here and then I'll actually drop a picture or a short clip in here of the um, bed down there with some measurements. Uh, originally this would have had a VCR player in it. Um, those are pretty much obsolete. So Greg, when he's working on these, oftentimes takes that out in almost all of these now. Just found that we like this a little better. He kind of finishes the inside of that. And then he also installs a uh, USB charger here. So if you kind of want to use this to maybe lay your tablet, your iPad, your uh, phones, we found that that's kind of a space that we try to utilize there for that. This here is a DVD player. The TV is on our left here. I'll show you that in a second. This does have solar. The Chinooks came with solar from the factory. Your solar controller is there for that. Got a little holder there for your one of your TV remotes. There is actually a pretty decent amount of storage overhead here. Uh, we've got a curtain here that goes across the cabin. You can hang that on the snap from the one side to the other uh, to give yourself privacy. A little inverter here so you can watch the TV while you're traveling down the road without having to be plugged into shore power. This is a 19-inch flat screen TV. This is brand new. Uh, Greg installed this for us. We do put these on a swivel mount so you can pull that out and angle that wherever you want, whether you're sitting on the dinette, the sofa, um, you can put that wherever you want it so you can see it a little better. There are speakers on either side, probably seen on the passenger side already. Uh, coming into the coach again, or the cabin again here, we do have power windows, power locks, uh, tilt, cruise, power heated mirrors, CD player. Again, 72,964 on the odometer. Chevy 3500 chassis, all loaded up. Uh, I'm going to drop some pictures and clips of the sofas in now. I'll be so right the back. The jackknife sofa on the passenger side here. This one measures about five feet seven in length, about five feet seven in length. And we've got about 37 inches of width here. The jackknife sofa on the driver's side. Uh, this one is about six, three in length, about six, three in length, and then about four foot in width. Uh, these do not touch here. Um, you could possibly shimmy through here if you needed to. Uh, would not be super easy. As you can see, the table does stick out there a little bit. Uh, but doable if you had to. So overall condition on this one, this is a 2001 with 72,000 miles. I am going to call this thing a 9 out of 10. The exterior shined up very, very nicely uh, with the work that we did inside and the interior, the way that it cleaned up. This is a very, very nice unit. Uh, so I'm going to call this thing a 9 out of 10. If you have any questions on this Chinook, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV. Your best little RV dealer around since 1976. Alrighty folks, we're gonna run around the outside of the Chinook Destiny. We are 23 feet from bumper to bumper. The tires are Firestones and have date codes of 2518. We have an 11 foot awning. This does sit on the Chevy 3500 chassis. It is powered by a 7.4 liter V8 engine. Exterior on this one shined up very, very nicely. Uh, the stripes are in excellent condition. Uh, very, very good stripes, very nice stripes on this one. These here are so you can hook your awning legs in there, or you can also stake those to the ground. Got a slide out tray here. Got a little bit of storage on this side, and then two coach batteries on this side. Here we have your vent for your propane furnace, access to your Onan 4K gasoline generator, vent and access to the back of the refrigerator. As you can see, the exterior has, uh, we buff every single one of these things, it shined up very, very nicely. Uh, stripes shined up beautifully as well coming around to the rear of the coach we do have a tow package that hitch is tucked in here between the steps um, you are going to have to have some sort of a hitch extender if you do want to tow a trailer ladder for access up onto the roof this is a rear entry model 
Got a small outside stereo here. Uh, just a little bit of storage for uh, tools or anything like that. This guy here, it actually has a power um, lift uh, cable for the spare tire that's mounted underneath. So you can push that button and that'll raise the spare tire down if a catastrophic thing happened and you need to use that. On the back driver's corner here, we have our sewer dumps, vent and access to our water heater. We have a black tank flush, city water connection. Gonna fill our onboard fresh water tank here. Shower valve for your outside shower. Shore power cord, telephone jack, and cable TV connection. Do have a small um, little spider crack there starting in the fiberglass. Purely mainly cosmetic. Gasoline tank. And then here we do have a nice large slide out storage drawer here on the driver's side of this unit. Got some leveling blocks we left in there for you, an extension cord, a sewer hose. And again, outside shined up beautifully. Stripes are in very, very good condition. On the hood here, we do have a little bit of paint chipping right here that you can see, as well as another one right there. But overall, the exterior on this thing for a 2001 is in excellent shape. When your mother-in-law works for Spangler Candy Company, the factory that is responsible for making the majority of the candy canes here in the United States, what do you do for Christmas? Well, you fill up your kitchen sink and you take pictures of your one-year-old son. We want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas here from us at Coon Truck and RV and have a happy and blessed New Year.